What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you stopping by, spending some time with me on this beautiful afternoon here on planet Earth. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this idea, right? There's a lot of people we say commonly in the spiritual community that um, one must be willing to leave behind everything to truly follow your heart's true desire, if your heart's true desire is this path of spiritual awakening, right? Um, and you might even have to leave behind your loved ones, your family and your friends, right? You have to be willing at least. This doesn't mean that, that this is going to happen, that you're going to lose everything you ever cared about. That's not really how it works, but but um, you may find out it could be beneficial for you to become willing to say goodbye to many of these things because oftentimes like a spiritual awakening is the result of a person coming to a certain point in their life where they realize that whatever they've been doing just isn't working and they begin to question things the world in general, right? The motives of the world, all of this, and they begin to awaken something much deeper in themselves, something that, that pulls them onto this, this spiritual path. And as a result, more times than not, a great transformation will take place. But not all of us are able to give in completely to the transformation. Right? Because of these attachments, we don't want to let go and lose certain things in our life. Right? So we sort of remain on the fence about it. We're sort of half in this world, half in that world, but we can't really make up our mind. Right? Because if you were to go all the way through with your transformation, how some of you uh, may honestly feel about it, you might adopt a 100% different lifestyle, like 180 complete opposite of what you're doing now. A lot of the times as a result of a spiritual awakening, a person begins to think differently about the world, right? They begin to see the world through a new eye. And because of this, they begin to carry themselves different. They may begin to speak different. They speak about themselves and speak about others and speak about the world in a, in a different way. Right? That will seem odd. It will seem foreign to the people that are close to you. Right? You might begin to dress different. You know what I mean? You might um, begin to watch different um, a different sort of media, get your information from somewhere else. You might stop watching um, the news. You might drop out of um, the world of politics completely and concern yourself with something different. And what happens when you do this is sometimes your loved ones, sometimes your friends, they can't really accept the change in you. Like, um, And really, they, they sort of hold you back. They, they love you. They care about you. Okay? But they only care about you if you're going to be the you that you were. As long as you stay the you that you were, then everything is fine. But, but you'll see, once you go through with this transformation, and you've seen, if you've gone through this transformation, that a lot of the times, this caring that a person has, or, or this attachment that a person has to you is very superficial. It's only um, surface Level, But once you begin to change these things on the surface as a result of, a, of an inward change, they can't accept that anymore. They don't recognize you anymore. And so sometimes it, it's necessary that you become willing to leave these people behind just so you can go even further with your transformation, right? And you can still be around these people. You don't have to completely abandon them. Sometimes you will, right? A lot of the times you will. But it's more of a, a matter of, of how do you allow them to influence you? How are they affecting you? 
How are they affecting your mind when they say, oh, yeah, but come on, man. I know the real you. I I know, remember last year we used to do this. Now you're talking about you do this. You don't do this, man. You do this, remember? And then if you start to believe it, yeah, of course, you're going to go right back to your old ways. You're going to go back to sleep, take a little nap, a little snooze. Sometimes it's good for you, you know? But once you truly become willing to cut ties with the world, then this transformation really begins to uh, to take off, right? When you begin to limit that um, that sort of, of contact, when you begin to protect your mind from outside influence, you know what I mean? Anyway, anyway, until next time, I hope you continue to free your mind.